Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips in a week. You know, I was recently asked how to do a special effect that was seen in a popular music video that's going around right now. And the effect is basically you take a screen like this and you make the center of it black and white with bars around it, kind of like this. Now, creating something like that in Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio is pretty easy. Let me show you how to do that. We're going to drag our clip up here on the timeline. And then we're going to right click in the video control area. We're going to select duplicate track, which creates an exact image of that track below it. Now I'm going to mute that track because I don't want to see it when I apply the effect. To apply the effect, I go over to the event effect icon and click that. And on event effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the Sony cookie cutter and Sony black and white. And then click OK. And on the cookie cutter, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shape to be a square. I'm going to cut away all but section. And then I'm going to set the size here. And I'm also going to set a border of about 11. You can see what that looks like right there. Now as I change the size, you can see that it's getting smaller and smaller. And what I want to do is I want to repeat X until that size fills the screen. And there it is right there. And I might want to make it a little bit taller than that, so we'll change the size a little bit like that. And that's pretty much what we want. Now we're going to go to black and white effect. And on black and white effect, we're going to select 100% black and white. And you can see that now that's black and white. Now we click X to close that window down. Now the reason we see black and white here and we don't see anything here is that with the cookie cutter, you can tell it not to show different parts of the screen. So we, in our cookie cutter, we've told it to only show this square area here. Now we're going to unmute the track below. And you see what we have there. Our border bars are probably too large, so we go back up to our video effect. We select cookie cutter and then we can adjust our border size. And while we're there, we can also adjust the size of our on-screen image. In addition to adjusting the size of the image, we can also adjust the position of the image. So if we want it up there, we can. Now there are other things that we can do here. We can do the repeat several times, which will give us squares. And if we use that with other squares, we can get a lot of interesting effects here on the screen by changing the size and the position. But to get back to where we were, we repeated the X several times, we repeated the Y just once until we get exactly what we want. We set the border the size we want. And then we close. And when we play the video now, you'll see that it has the black and white area there in the video. The example that I saw of this effect was on a music video, but for copyright reasons, I can't show you the video. That's why I'm just using this clip right here. But I think you get the idea. It's easy to make part of your screen black and white, and it's easy to add borders around that black and white. By the way, using this same cookie cutter effect, you can apply any effect here. It doesn't have to be black and white. You could apply the film effects. You could apply any of the blur effects. You could even apply a chroma key into the center of the screen. Pretty easy to do. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. You can find more like this at my website, which is www.bmyers.com. And you can find a lot more tips like this on my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio DVD available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.